right, so here's the motorcycle we're going to build today. It's pretty simple. There's about 90 parts in it. Uh, it's not the best performing motorcycle in the world, but it should be pretty easy for us to get done in a relatively short video today. Um, there's a couple of things you need to know uh, before you get started. You, you'll need to use a LiPo battery with this, and uh, I have a video talking about using LiPo batteries with s brick. I'll link to that here. You'll need an s brick, and uh, you'll also need a lot of chain. Um, other than that, it's all Lego parts, so it's pretty doable. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to drive. Uh, I managed to get it around the house a little bit. It's kind of frustrating, so I took it to the tennis court. It's a lot easier to drive at the tennis court, but uh, my tablet doesn't have very good Bluetooth range, so I have to be pretty close to it or I lose connection. All right, so anyway, let's get started. So earlier in the video I mentioned that this isn't the best bike in the world, but it can be a lot better. I used the same chassis in my last video. Uh, the only difference was I completed the driver so he had legs and uh, got all the balance worked out right. And I used a hobby radio in that one so it was a lot easier to control. So you can do a lot to optimize this. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to build the driver because all you really need is some weight on the top to swing it back and forth. Uh, but you'll have to probably experiment with how much weight to put on there. And if you want to build out that driver and try to figure out how to make legs, then that's great too. And if you want to look at how to put a hobby radio in there, I've got that video on that. So there's a lot you can do to improve this possibly. You've probably noticed by now that this video is playing backwards. Uh, yeah, I'm disassembling this thing. I'm feeling kind of lazy today, sorry. My apologies. Here's a four motor motorcycle that never got a video. It does look pretty good in that helmet though, huh? I'm sure some of you want to know if you can use a Lego IR receiver to do this and uh, I would say it's probably going to be really difficult to get it to work well. You're not going to have very much range and you're, you can't use a 3 cell LiPo battery so you're going to have to go down to a 2 cell LiPo so you're, uh, so you're not going to have very much power uh, and you're not going to be able to take it outside so it's not going to be quite as good. Uh, it might be diff more difficult to make it work one thing you could do is lower the outrigger wheels so that they're a little bit closer to the ground so the bike doesn't tip over as much.
right, well, that about wraps it up. Uh, I guess this video is about over. I'll leave it to you to get the driver on there. It's going to probably take you some uh, fiddling to get this thing to work well. Uh, I encourage you to do that. Here's a bonus crash for everybody that stayed for the whole video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. I've got all sorts of LEGO videos like tips, tricks, and hacks. Sometimes I just show off my models, but I always hope to get you building, and thanks for watching.